Hello everyone. So in this session 21 in the Jenkins series, uh, we will see how we can do the multiple SCM checkout using the Jenkins pipeline script. Okay. So previously we have done this the same thing uh, to check out the uh, multiple SCMs using the multiple SCMs plugin in the Jenkins. Okay. So same thing we are going to see, but this time we will use the Jenkins pipeline script. So let's consider I, I have two projects in my GitHub repository. One is this project and another one is this one. Okay, so normally when we uh, check out the github code in our Jenkins job, we uh, check out it from the single uh, repository. Okay, so there can be a scenario of, uh, in which uh, we need to uh, check out the code or use the files from multiple uh, SCMs or multiple repository. So these repositories can be at same like github, two repository in the github or one is github and another one is uh, gitlab. Okay, so it can be anything. So we need to uh, use the files from the different projects from the different SCMs. So for that purpose, we need to check out the code from the multiple SCMs. So here I am using my Jenkins uh, installed on my local system. Okay, so I will click on new item. Then I will give some name here. Okay, and uh, I will have to select this pipeline. Right, click on okay. So click on the pipeline section here. So here we can write this script. So declarative pipeline will start with the pipeline keyword. Okay, so it will start here and it will end here. So this pipeline will contain the different stages, right? So I will write these stages. So it is starting here and it will end here. So inside stages, I can have multiple stage. Okay, so let's say this is my stage one. Okay, and here I can give the name to my stage. Let's say SCM one checkout. Okay, SCM one checkout. Now under this stage, we will have the different steps to execute. Okay, so inside this steps block, we can give the command we want to run, right? So this is our stage one in this stages block. So here I will add the another stage to check out the code from the uh, second SCM. Okay, this is for SCM to check out and once checkout is successful, I can run one of these project. Okay, I need to start my build. So I will have the build stage here. So here I will add build stage. Now to uh, check out the code from this uh, git repository, I will copy this link and inside this step block, I will add git and just in the single code just provide this link okay so in the stage scm1 checkout this will uh, check out the code from this git repository okay similarly from scm2 i am going to check out the code from this project so this is another one so i will add here and how we can build the project using we need to use the bat as my agent uh, can install on the windows system uh, in case of linux system you can use the sales script here Okay, so bat and uh, here I will use the mn. It's a clean test. Now, if you uh, run this script, this pipeline script, it is going to check out code from both this repository, but it is going to keep that code in the same directory. Okay, same workspace location of this uh, project. Okay, so then you will see how we can overcome that pro uh, problem. So let me first uh, run this script. Okay, so just click on build now button. So it got failed. Let me check what is the issue. So missing required section agent. Yes, right. So inside the uh, Jenkins pipeline script, you need to mention the agent means on which machine you want to run the uh, or build this project. Okay. So after a pipeline here, you need to add the agent. Let's say any agent. And also what are the different tools you are going to use for this project. Okay. So I'm going to use the Maven and which Maven I'm going to use the Maven. Uh, configured in my Jenkins global tool configuration. So this is the name I have given Maven home. Okay, so click on apply and save. Let's try to build this again. So all these stages got completed and there are some issues in this uh, build stage so that you can check from these logs. So we got the issues while running this uh, batch command. So there is some compilation issue that I can uh, resolve it later. So as of now, we just need to uh, check out the code from this uh, multiple SCMs. Okay, so let me show you the code on my local system. 
so as we are uh, checking this uh, two repository in the same directory uh, the code from this first repository is overwritten by this code okay in this second repository so let me show you that so on the local system you just need to go to the c drive then go to the program data and uh, go to the jenkins okay dot jenkins so here you will find the workspace so there there are different workspace for the jenkins project so this is our project right so this is the uh, maven project code from the second repository okay this contains pom pom 2 and pom 3 that means this code is from this project so Jenkins has checked out the code from both the repository but when it check out the code from the second repository it overwritten the first uh, SCM code okay on the local system so what we have to do is we need to check out this code in the uh, different directory okay so you just need to make some uh, changes in your pipeline script so again go to the configure so for the steps for this SCM one checkout stage I will give directory command here okay and uh, i can give the directory name okay so whatever name you will provide here that directory will be created on the local system and under that directory all the code from this git repository will be kept so here i will give the scm1 let's see project okay scm1 project code this is my directory name and under this folder just check out the code from this git repository okay so this is the changes you need to do to check out the code from multiple SCMs, you need to keep that code into the separate directory. Okay, otherwise code will be overwritten. So same, I will add for the second stage. Okay, and uh, while building this project, we cannot directly run this MUN clean test. Okay, so this command will be executed outside of these two, pro uh, two folders, SCM1 and SCM2 project code. Okay, so it will not be able to find the pom.xml file. So what we need to do is we need to go to the directory in which pom.xml file is available. So for example, for SCM1 project, if I want to build, then I need to go to this directory first and then I will have to run the MUN clean test so that it will get the pom.xml file. So in the bat command, again, I will make some changes over here. So MUN then space hyphen F, this flag you need to use, the file flag, then space dot slash and just go to the sc1 project code directory okay so these are the two changes you need to do for multiple scm checkout so just click on apply and save so i will click on build now okay so this time we got the success for the build stage as well so let's go to the local system again and we should get the two project code now under this workspace and this is my project so under this you can see we got the two project uh, folders one is scm one project core under which we have the code from the first scm that is this repository right and uh, we have another project uh, another folder this scm2 and this is the code from our second scm okay so same if you want to check out the code from github and gitlab at the same time i can make a changes so just copy the gitlab uh, repository url you want to check out and in the pipeline script just need to change the url let's say scm to url i am going to change okay click on apply and save so all these stages got completed and uh, you can check the local system files now from the SCM2 this time we got the code from the GitLab so I hope uh, this session will uh, definitely help you in your real-time project in case you want to check out the code from the multiple SCMs so that is all for this session guys I will uh, see you in the next video soon